Um, I thought I was just going to do this stream and be kind of dunking on Boogie and kind of shitting on him as to why we don't get nice things and how people get prosecuted for crypto related scams because there have been so many crypto related scams but the the nature of today's episode has changed but we're going to we're going to start by talking a little bit about boogie and what got me uh, kind of in this uh in this mental state his meme coin is aptly named uh fatty coin fatty coin the official meme community of Boogie2988, a place for fatties the world over, no G's allowed. Um, so, yeah, th this is the meme coin that was pushed by him. Now, I know that some of you may not be as familiar with crypto, so let me explain to you some kind of like crypto basics, right? Um, and actually, let me pull up, let me pull up corn, corn market cap for a second to explain this because you kind of need to see the corn market cap to understand this. So cryptocurrency, I'm sure you guys know what cryptocurrency is. Obviously, things like Bitcoin and Ethereum are cryptocurrency. But just like there are blue chip stocks and just like there are um, sh you know, shit penny stocks and stuff like that, that would be pushed by, uh, you know, pushed by somebody in a, in a strip mall, like on a, like in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, there are, you know, the Bitcoins that are kind of been out there and fairly reliable. And there are the trash tier shit coins, right? That have no utility. There's no future. It's just for the memes, for the lulls, right? And a lot of people, um, speculate in these coins because they can end up making a lot of money. And one of the reasons they can end up making a lot of money or one of the reasons they have hope for them to make a lot of money is because if you look at the size of uh, the crypto market, there are some very significant meme coins. And there's at least one very significant meme coin. So right here, you see the number one, this is coin market cap, which is probably the best place uh, to look at the market capitalization of the crypto market. So how much money is in crypto, right? So the global crypto market is at $2.33 trillion, which is at an uptrend over the last day. Um, you can see, okay, how much money is in, is in Bitcoin? How much money is in Ethereum? How much money is in Tether? And where's the market cap on that? And you can see that Bitcoin's market cap is at one point. Uh, to five trillion dollars, followed by uh, Ethereum, which is at 400 and uh, 420 there. Um, and then you've got Tether, BNB, Solana, and USDC. These are all relatively, uh, these are coins that have been around for a while, right? They've been relatively stable in these top slots. And then Solana's kind of come up a little bit. But, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, they've been there for a while. But when we scroll down here past XRP and TonCoin, you get this one right here. You guys see what's at number nine? You guys see what it's number nine? Our boy, the Doge, right? The Doge is at number nine, right? And really, the idea of a meme coin comes from the fact that currently there are 18 billion US dollars that are in a dog, right? That are in a meme coin. Now, people will argue that um, that Dogecoin has utility, that there's some function to Dogecoin, but uh, I, I'm going to put out there uh, that effectively most of this, uh, this you know, people who are in Doge is because it is a meme coin. And I, I'm, I'm going to have to put on the banner here on the bottom. This is hashtag not financial advice. In fact, let me put on the longer one here. This is not financial advice. So obviously you should not invest in any shit coin. You should not speculate in crypto. I have both made money and lost money in crypto, right? So I have made some fuck ups in crypto and I have also made some money in crypto. If you are in the bull market, if the market is going up for crypto, almost anything will pump at some point, right? So you can put any shit coin out there. Literally, people were buying uh, coins like PopCad and, you know, even po coins like, um, like, I remember there was one coin called like JuCoin and that was pumping. And right, there's a bunch of other stuff like Solana had like all these meme coins that were just like pumping, right? Like for like no reason, Pepe coin, all these other things just fucking pump, pump, pump. When the market is is going up, people see these things, they think they can make money. The problem is twofold. Number one, a lot of these are what's called pump and dump. So they have a spike and then everybody dumps them. Just the, the people that own most of them dump them. They just 
rug the coin, you know, which is called rugging because you're pulling the rug out from underneath the coin. You're selling most of the value. So somebody that owns 50% or maybe even 75% of the coin will just sell and you'll see the bot, the value just boop, drop off, right? The other thing is eventually the bull market turns to a bear market. And at some point, the thing you think is going to pump is not. And that's actually one of the ways I got screwed in crypto is I thought that the uh, bull market, the last bull market was going to last longer. And I thought the tops would be higher. I was trying to hold it to get that top top instead of taking profits. And I got screwed. I got screwed. Um, it happens. It happens. Now, of course, I still I think I net made money, but on a, on a whole, yeah, there was there were some issues there. Um, I'm <laughs> ready for fucking monkey coin. Yeah, trust me. When the bull market is really going, even a fucking monkey can start a meme coin. Even a monkey can start a meme coin. It's not difficult, right? And they just flow. They're just all over the place. And this is why there are SEC actions. And this is why our boy, well, he's really not, he's the opposite of our boy. He's in fact quite not our boy. Um, Mr. Gary Gensler, of the SEC uh, has some not nice things to say about crypto. This is Gary Gensler right here about uh, about the SEC. This is him right here. This is him talking about crypto lending and you know how it's subject to regulation and how com you know they're going to require compliance you know of everybody. This is our boy Gary Gensler here. Now Gary Gensler has not been a fan of crypto. He's been very fucking anti crypto. However. However, we almost had nice things. And, and shout out to um, Mr. Obvious, who actually responded to a post regarding Boogie on this. We're at a point in crypto where uh, we're about to get spot ETFs, right? You know, we have a spot ETF for B for Bitcoin. We're about to get a spot ETF for, um, for ETH, for Ethereum which is a huge thing because you're going to have the ability for index funds, retirement funds, 401ks to invest in the actual thing. And therefore the market for crypto will go up. The market cap for crypto will go up. So these things are about to happen. Sovereign wealth funds are looking at crypto. We've already got Ecuador that has a lot of money, you know, and, you know, obviously they're a very special case, but imagine if another major country, maybe a European country or some Asian country put a significant amount of their sovereign wealth into crypto. That would really pump the market. And we're about at that point. But when you get people that are pulling these scams, like Boogie, when you get Boogie saying shit like this, right? Which is, this was posted by Muda, but um, we should pump the coin so he thinks he's responsible for being successful, right? Literally using the phrase pump, as in pump and dump, right? Like, bro, this right here is asking for the SEC to be on your ass, and it's asking for jail time. I mean, like, Boogie saying this thing is like courting the SEC. It's tempting them to come after him and prosecute him. I mean, and you can be prosecuted for fraud because, well, if you know this thing is going to be a pump and dump, yeah, that's fraud, right? Or many other uh, many other provisions. There's many securities provisions you could be uh, you could be brought under regarding crypto and regarding regulation. You're probably not following, right? So there's a, there's a lot of stuff that they could be brought down on. And I want to give. And I thought we were going to cover. I thought we were going to cover initially the Coffeezilla takedown of Boogie because Coffeezilla did a very good job. I'll play like a minute of it here, but of confronting uh, Boogie on this crypto scam, right? So let's just watch like a minute of this, right? Today on a crypto pump and dump he did where he got paid $10,000 to promote a coin. And he said that he thought that just because he said, hey, don't buy this unless you're rich, uh, that nobody was going to put their money in. A few hours later, $3 million worth of trading volume had been done. And I tried to tell him and explain to him that that's how these deals work. Insiders pay you, the celebrity, to go ahead and promote something. They paid him $10,000 and then people end up buying the coin. It doesn't matter what you say, the whole point. And that, and that is very true. So CoffeeZilla's point here is very true. And by the way, I see that in the poll, 94% uh, of you just off rip before we've even read the lawsuit. 94% of you are on the side of CoffeeZilla. You're more inclined to believe him. 6% uh, are more inclined to believe Logan Paul, right? Um, so CoffeeZilla here 
is true. What he said there is true. Uh, they really just are going off your endorsement because as soon as you endorse that coin, the value of that coin is going to pump. Right. So fatty coin, it doesn't matter that he told them, oh, it's only for rich people or, oh, it's uh, it's like it's a meme or the fact that you should only give money if it's disposable. It doesn't matter. People are going to invest because they like you. And that's why they got that's why the endorsement is worth something. That's why it is. That's why they pay you. Right. And and also, uh, Mr. Boogie uh, tried to say, well, I only get paid ten thousand dollars. Well, that's not material. It doesn't matter how much profit you made. It's that you engage in a scheme to defraud. Right. Whether or not you gain ten thousand or one million, it doesn't matter. And by the way, this meme coin had three million dollars in trading volume. Now, of that one point five million was buying and one point five million was selling. Right. So that's on both sides of the coin there, so to say, right? But um, there's a lot of volume there. That is a significant amount of volume uh, after Boogie gave that announcement. So obviously there were some real people that were brought into this and brought their money into this fatty coin uh, trying to uh, trying to make some money because as soon as they find out about it, as soon as they know about the coin, they buy in because they're trying to catch the pump. Everybody wants to catch the pump. They don't want to catch the dump. Right. You always want to pump. You never want to dump.